I've come into the polytunnel and um, I'm not feeling brilliant today because I had a um, quite a bad migraine when I woke up but I've, I've managed to pretty much shake it off and I wanted to do something and I've got these spring bulbs and various little pots and I wanted to get them planted up so I thought it'd be a nice quiet and mindful activity to do. I'm filming from my phone um, just because it was quicker and easier today than setting up all the camera equipment um, so if there's any background noise because I haven't got a lapel mic on then apologies uh, but I just I wanted to get this done um, and I could have just come and done it quietly but I thought you know I said I was going to film it and show you so here I am. So if you didn't see my previous video I've got these um, spring bulbs I've got some grape hyacinths some hyacinths and um, some tete-a-tete -tete little I was going to say butterflies <laughs> um, daffodils so just as an aside for anybody who doesn't know I suffer from chronic migraine and there's a lot of symptoms so that this car go past that people may not be aware of um, it's neurological I'm under a brilliant neur neurologist but one of the symptoms is losing words. Um, hence, I was going to say butterflies instead of daffodils. Um, and that's quite a regular occurrence, even when I'm not under what traditionally people think are the effects of a migraine. So the headache and the nausea and all that goes with it. So I'm, I've had sort of what we call the, I'm not going to rattle on, but I'm through the, the worst of it. But there's still a few, a few symptoms there. So anyway, enough uh, talking about my migraines. Um, so you may have seen I picked up in the antiques emporium i've got this little brass planter I've got this gorgeous little um planter a little bowl an old teapot that doesn't have a lid um it's a gorgeous little teapot and of course because it had no lid it wasn't really any use to anybody else but perfect for me and then i've also scuttled around and found a couple of other pots um, there's actually another one, but you're balanced on top of it at the moment on the end of a, a, a tripod. Um, so, now, normally when we're growing things, you know, we want to have a little pot with some drainage holes. Um, but these aren't going to be in these containers for long. So I'm, I am just going to put the compost in and plant the bulbs in. I'm going to cram them in because they don't mind that. And the whole idea is just for some spring colour in the house. So they're not going to be in these pots for long and they will forgive that and they will be beautiful. And then once they're finished, I'll take those bulbs out and either save them till next year or I'll plant them into a big plant pot to because I find sometimes bulbs keep better in soil um, and then I can save them for next year. Uh, but for now, let's get planting up. So I've got a, um, some compost here. I've got my little planters, let's just find some gloves, want to keep my pinkies from freezing over and uh, and also um, just to stop me getting too much muck up my nails. So I'm going to move the camera so you can really see what I'm doing. So this is the pot that was upturned that you were balanced on to make you a little bit higher earlier. So pop that over there and uh, and let's get on with this. So again, you know I'm not big on plastic um, and in an ideal world I'd have bought these bulbs and, um, and forced them myself and then bought them, you know, paper bags. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll keep these because, you know, this would be quite useful as a, you know, I could chop that and use it as a plant label. I can do the same with the other one and I'll keep these for, for growing in in the future. So let's just get these out of the way. Ah, 
and rather than making a mess I might just get the, um, the seed tray there we go it just stops the um, the soil from falling down um, between the slats I'm just going to carefully lift these hyacinths out of their container. And the same with these little grape hyacinths. And they're amazingly the same, you know, when these are brought under. Um, you know from a garden centre but even though they were put in at the same time you can see they're growing at different rates so you know even you know professional sellers have the same the same issues as us and then the little daffodils and I'll separate those out and a nice little yellow tub so I think in this little bowl I'm not going to get a huge amount in it because it's quite um, shallow so I might just put a little clump of these grape hyacinths in that one some of this uh, moss because these are decorative and they're going to be in the house just makes them look that little bit prettier and um, you know there's a million ways you can do this I've seen people put them in really big bowls and then you know put candles and things in amongst them as well which looks really really pretty uh, but I just want the bowls and the bulbs So that's going to need a little wipe, but isn't that going to be pretty? So let's pop that to one side.
and there they are all finished and I'm really really pleased with them and I can't wait to find little homes for them in the house and I can have some lovely spring colour in every room and I will show them to you as they progress so do drop me a comment below if this is something that you already do or if it's something that you would consider doing and let me know if you want to hop over to my Facebook page I'll put a um, there is a link in the description and also there's a link in my channel bio to both Facebook and Instagram and there will be posts um, about what I've done today and all my videos so if you want to join in with chat on any of my social media be it here on YouTube or over at Facebook or Instagram I'd be absolutely delighted it was about time I got this garlic in and as you can probably see the hot the ground is frozen all around me and I haven't finished preparing these beds so you'll have seen in last video video before a few videos ago I started my onion sets rather than being in the ground which I normally start them in the autumn and overwinter them but it didn't happen for one reason or another so they're in the polytunnel in cells and the garlic is still sitting there so what i've decided to do is use these tubs which i haven't got anything in at the moment and um, so i might as well get the garlic into these tubs so i've just topped them up with some compost and i'm going to get these garlics i'm going to probably overcrowd the buckets a little she says do you know what i might even give some away so there's no point overcrowding them is there because they're just not going to do so i am going to split my bulbs up and you can see that you know they're, they're growing <laughs> um, i'm going to pick the best of them and then i'm going to put three or four into each bucket so let's do this. So my gloves are more to keep my hands warm because it's, I mean, it's really cold, but it's beautiful. You'll also have to excuse me. Um, I've got a lot going on today and I really wanted to get out and do something with you guys and also get this garlic in. Um, so I have actually um, come from a workout um, and then I went to get um, dog food and horse food and I've come straight out into the car. I've just thrown a jumper and a hat and a scarf on. So I've still got my workout gear on and I've just thrown a big jumper over the top. So apologies, I look a fright, but it was that or, or not get out. 
So I'm just popping these in. I was going to do three, wasn't I? I'm going to do four. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to be brave and I'm going to do four. There we go. So that's four into that tub. Oh, I nearly squidged that one. That one's not very good. Neither is that. So because I'm not using them all, I say I'm going to give some away. I may as well pick the best ones. Is that one or two? There we go. So another four in here. And then I'll do the other two tubs. Done. So these, actually this one was starting to go a little bit mushy, so that's going on the compost heap. Um, and these two are just about salvageable um, so I'm going to give them away so at least somebody gets to have a chance of them. So that's four tubs of garlic. So I've put these four tubs out here along the edge of the plot line next to where the wildflower meadow is um, because they'll be absolutely fine outside. They don't need to be in the polytunnel. So here's hoping <laughs> for some garlic. So um, I've just got the last of the leek in from the tub in that corner and um, because I want to throw some meat and veg into the slow cooker so the next thing I'm going to do is get some uh, probably the last now of these carrots and some parsnips up and um, so I can throw them in with the leek of saying some meat I'm not sure what yet I'll have a rummage around uh, but make a nice casserole for tonight's tea oh there's some nut oh <laughs> bunch of fives oh goodness um, so I've always said I don't mind my wonky veg but they've all come up in a great big clump but there'll be plenty to salvage from that so that'll do uh, leaving a few in and let's have a look at these parsnips there we go so again the same with the parsnips pretty decent on there and a few gnarly ones um, i think we have the best pickings for our festive meal uh, but that's okay so i'm going to give these a rinse off i can't use the hose pipe because it's frozen so i'll take the bulk of the foliage off give them a good rub and uh, take them across to the house to use later but they're not bad at all so let me know have you got anything left that you're harvesting at the moment have you started sowing i'm sure you've already got your garlic and your onions on the go um, so do let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with your gardens <laughs>